In this video, I'm going to show you a free alternative to ChatGPT plugins. You are going to get an access to extension that is going to create templates for you for different purposes. It's a very good alternative to ChatGPT plugins because you can do so much with them. So if you are a user of ChatGPT 3.5, you are also going to be able to use them because it's completely for free. If you are into AI and tech, then definitely subscribe down below because I post every single week. Some of you also ask about whether I recommend any books on ChatGPT and AI. And I do have a list of four books that I have at home and I highly recommend. The books are very good in explaining how ChatGPT actually works, how you should use it, how you should write prompts, as well as how you can make money off of it in your free time. You can find the Amazon links down below. All right, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is to go to Chrome Web Store. You are able to download extensions for your Google Chrome. You want to type down keywords everywhere and search for extension that looks like this. It's going to give you access to many more features, but one of their new features is that you are going to be able to use their templates that are so valuable, save you so much time directly inside ChatGPT. So you want to click on add to Chrome, then you want to click on add extension and you are going to be redirected to their landing page. And as you can see, we have the extension installed right now. You can read more, but here you can see ChatGPT prompt templates, 200 plus optimized prompt templates to help you get most out of ChatGPT. You can right now close this and then go back to your ChatGPT account. And right now, when we are going to hit refresh, you can see two new things. The first one is uh, this small window here that you can move. And then there is this part here that says templates. This one is just an additional thing that you will get. If you see the ChatGPT, for example, stop generating, you can just hit please continue here and it automatically is going to continue. Same with clarify, exemplify, expand, explain, rewrite, shorten and tweetify. But the main thing you should be interested in and where you get the most value is actually the templates. So when you click on them, you are going to get this window here. And as you can see, we have uh, three different options. We have category, subcategory, and templates. It says, please browse through our categories and subcategories above and select the prompt template that you would like to execute. Good thing about this is that it's updated very frequently. So you can see that the last update was done on 28th of May, 2023. And on that update, they added a new category professionals, which I'm going to show you in this video as well. If we click on the categories, we can choose from five different main categories. We have copywriting, marketing, SEO, social media, and professionals. Let's start with copywriting. You can now choose your subcategory. So you have blog writing, book writing, content writing, course writing, email writing, and landing pages. Within blog writing, you have generate blog post titles, generate blog post descriptions, blog post outline, complete blog post from outline, complete blog post from topic, introduction using framework, paragraph of text. If we go to book writing, you have plot generator, book title generator, book outline generator, book chapter generator. If we go to content writing, you have content titles generator, content rewriter, content brief generator, content outline generator, monthly content calendar, frequently asked question generator, article to listicle. If we go to course writing, you have course idea generation, course outline generator, complete course lesson, course assignment generator, then uh, email writing. In email writing, you have professional email editor, marketing email generator, sales prospecting email, cold outreach email, follow up email, referral email generator, subject lines generator, email newsletter calendar. And lastly, in landing pages, you have generic landing page, landing page for e-commerce, landing page for affiliates, landing page for SaaS tool. So let's take an example. Let's go with blog writing. Let's choose generate complete blog post from topic. If we click on it, you can see that automatically we get more options. So we can set a language. We can set the voice tones. In this case, let's choose informative. Then we have writing styles. We have uh, academic, analytical. For the sake of this video, let's just choose informative. You can see that when I choose different writing styles, the template automatically changes as well. Just here, informative writing. If I go to uh, technical, it changes here. Let's go with analytical and then let's go with topic. How to use chat GPT. Then we have the number of headings. If you hover over it, this is the total number of headings in the outline. We are not gonna read the whole prompt, but you can see that it's very, very advanced. There's a lot of information here and that's where the templates are great. 
we are going to execute this template. And as you can see, we automatically got the prompt here so we can just send it. And just like that, we got a very good outline for how to use ChatGPT. You can now continue with this and let ChatGPT know uh, that you want to write article with this outline. In marketing, you have frameworks and miscellaneous. If we go to frameworks, we have IDA framework, PASS framework, FAB framework, FAB framework. And then in the miscellaneous, we have create buyer persona, create long form sales letter, create video sales letter. So here in this video, let's actually just go with create buyer persona. Here you again get the settings, languages, voice tones, writing styles. So let's keep it informative and then analytical. Um, here you can hover over the question mark. This is where you enter what your business sells to the customers. So let's say that we are selling smartphones and then where do you sell it? If you hover over it, this is where you enter the location where you sell. If you sell all over the world, you can enter worldwide. Here we are going to say the United States. And as you can see, the good thing about these templates is that they all start with please ignore all previous instructions. So no, you can do everything in one chat um, and use as many templates as you want because then the results from one template are not gonna influence the results on the next message. We are going to hit uh, execute template and then we are just going to send this. And uh, just like that, we got a table of our buyer persona. We have user persona creation for smartphones in the United States. We have data points, then we have answers. So for example, typical age is 32, annual income $75,000. Then we get user description. We then get also psychographics in this nice table. So for example, pains, slow performance, limited storage, poor battery life. We also get a table of shopping behaviors. So the budget is $500 to $800. Triggers, discounts, positive customer reviews. And then for example, barriers, high prices, complex features, unreliable customer reviews. So right now let's go to the third one, which is SEO category. Here we have keyword research, e-commerce SEO, local SEO, on-page optimization. Click on keyword research. Here we have keyword strategy, get search intent for keywords, related keyword generator, long tail keyword generator. If we go to e-commerce SEO, we have product description generator, category description generator, ending page generator, bulk titles and descriptions. In local SEO, we have optimize your Google business profile, attributes for Google business profile, generate Google business profile posts, generate Q&A for Google business profile, generate GMB posts from content. Then we have on-page optimization, and here we have meta title and description generator, create a silo structure, and then insert keywords into content. Here, as an example, I'm going to go with keyword research and I'm going to go with keyword strategy. Here you can see we have languages, so I'm gonna keep it English. And then here you have something called seed keyword. If you hover over it, this is the starting seed keyword. Let's go with chat GPT. Then you have total keywords. This is the number of closely related keywords you want generated. We don't need 500. Let's go just with 20. As you can see, the template is very long, but it's very descriptive. We are going to execute template and then we are going to send this. And right now we are getting a table. So we have artificial intelligence, AI chatbot, informational, exploring the potential of AI chatbots is the title. Uh, and then we also have description. Second one, artificial intelligence, virtual assistant is the keyword. Search intent is informational. We have unleashing the power of virtual assistants. And then we also get the description. Let's go with social media. Social media, we have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube as the main subcategories. In Facebook, we have uh, post ideas, group post, ad creator, and post calendar. In Instagram, we have Instagram carousel, Instagram caption, post calendar. In LinkedIn, we have post creator, comment generator, bio generator, connection message, ad generator, hashtag generator, and post calendar. And in Pinterest, we have keywords for Pinterest, generate pin titles, generate pin descriptions, Pinterest hashtag generator, Pinterest pin calendar. In TikTok, we have video ideas, we have TikTok script writer, we have hashtag generator and post calendar. In Twitter, we have engaging Twitter thread, Twitter personalized bio, convert article into Twitter thread, respond to customers on Twitter, Twitter hashtag generator and Twitter thread calendar. And then lastly, we have YouTube. In YouTube, we have script creator, short script, title and descriptions, transcript to article, ads generator, 
text generator, video calendar. For our example, let's go with LinkedIn and let's go with post creator. Here we get more options. Again, we have languages. So we are going to keep it English, voice tones, once again, writing styles. We are going to keep it informative and analytical. Here you can write your topic of your post. This is a topic that you want a LinkedIn post to create on. Let's write ChatGPT. And here you have a industry. This is the industry that you want to target. Here, let's choose, for example, marketing. And then you can also choose the post length. So how many words would you like ChatGPT to generate? Let's keep it 390 to 400 words. Again, we get a very long prompt. We are going to click on execute template and we are going to send this. And just like that, we got the post. Exciting news for fellow marketers. Have you heard about ChatGPT? It's an AI powered conversational agent. Then we also got some emojis as well as hashtags. All right, let's go with professionals this time. So in professionals, we have accountants, entrepreneurs, finance, human resources, lawyers, and teachers. In accountants, we have financial planning, tax accounting, regulatory compliance, accounting dictionary. In entrepreneurs, we have business auditor, business idea generator, marketing manager, and business advisor. In finance, we have investment manager, Excel macro helper, financial dictionary. In human resources, we have interview questions generator, employee retention and engagement, employee development plan, employee performance evaluation, and then lawyers, case law generator, risk and liabilities generator, legal research helper, legal precedence, document analyst, drafting settlement agreement. And then teachers, we have quiz creator, subject overview, resource generator, lesson plan calendar. Let's go with entrepreneurs. And for example, let's choose marketing manager. We are going to choose language uh, English. And then here, please describe your business. All right, so I am finished with the description. I wrote a description of Popups Land, which is uh, my website. Basically, it's just a pop-up builder, but great thing about it is that on each pop-up that you build with Popups Land, you get a small notification like this. We reduce our carbon footprint via this pop-up. And then you just create pop-ups for your website. And then you also get to save the planet, which your customers and visitors are going to appreciate. And then we have framework. This is copywriting framework you want to use. So here you can see that we have attention, interest, desire, action, problem, agitate solution, before, after bridge, features, advantages, benefits. All right, so we are going to go with IDA, which is attention, interest, desire, and action. We are going to execute. And then if you find yourself that uh, you kind of get stuck and you can't send this, just go to the end of the prompt and then just hit enter. And then you are going to be able to send this. And we got a very nice table because this prompt was actually supposed to create a table with stage strategy and suggestions. So we have attention, create compelling headlines and visuals for carbon reduction pop-ups that grab the attention of website visitors. Highlight the unique selling proposition of pop-ups land, emphasizing that it's the first web-based app for creating and customizing carbon reduction pop-ups interest, showcase the wide variety of pre-built pop-ups available in pop-ups land, 27 plus options to cater to different marketing objectives such as lead generation, customer feedback and boosting engagement. Create sense of urgency by emphasizing the need for businesses to become greener and take action towards carbon reduction. And then action, offer incentives such as discounts or exclusive content to encourage immediate action from website visitors. And then we also get a very nice summary of this whole ADA model. All right, so this was a quick run through through all the templates. Again, I did not use all of them because this video would be too long, but you kind of get an idea about what you can do with it. It's a very good tool for you to save time. As you can see, you can use it with ChatGPT free, but as well as with four to get even better results. If you find this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you are interested in tech and AI, definitely subscribe down below. I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.